Welcome to Isla Mujere. After a 15 minute ferry ride on Ultraman, which will cost you around $15, you arrive to the beautiful island of Isla Mujeres. A complete change of scenery from Cancun, Isla Mujeres is very relaxing and full of things to do. Renting a golf cart is a must while you're in Isla Mujeres. If you want to traverse through the island in this heat, even though it's a small island, it's pretty big if you're walking on foot. So it's we paid uh, $74 for the whole day. I say it's worth it, so enjoy your time here. For the first stop on our tour, we went to Ice Bar, and as the name suggests, this bar is completely made out of ice. If you're in Isla Mujere, this place is a must visit. You can have a great time here, cool off. It comes with two drinks, $20 per person. I took my best friend here. He did not expect this. It's a, it's a hot day, and it feels good to cool off, but it's getting really cold right now. When I say everything's made out of ice, I mean everything, even the foosball table. Before we left, we ate at the Wonky Grill, which is an all-you-can-eat buffet with an incredible view. Now we headed to the south part of the island where you can swim with dolphins, enjoy a nice day on a catamaran, or my favorite, El Garrafón, where you can enjoy snorkeling, kayaking, and ziplining over the most beautiful turquoise water. Punta Azul is the southernmost tip of the island of Isla Mujeres. It's essentially a cliffside park that is home to one-of-a-kind sculptures, Mayan ruins, and a lighthouse with breathtaking ocean views. And for our last stop, we headed to the north side of the island where most of the hotels are to enjoy the beach before we headed back to Cancun.